Hey everybody, uh, it's Brian from Oh My Gadgets, uh, also known as Hook on the Halloween forums. And today I was going to go over a little tutorial about how to put together your RGB LED spotlight kits. And uh, these are great for prop illumination and also when paired with the Medusa DMX can be used to add animation to your lighting as part of your uh, animatronic routines. And uh, so that can be good for changing color on the prop or strobing lights, fading up, fading down, uh, different um, flashing type of effects, modulation with voice and such. Um, so the first thing I'll do is uh, kind of give you a, a lay to the land of what, uh, what parts you should have available in front of you, uh, what comes in the kit, and uh, what tools you'll need to put everything together. So, uh, so let's get started. So here's what you're going to need to uh, put together the kit. Uh, first, you'll need the uh, PCB that uh, the LEDs mount to, and the LEDs themselves along with their respective resistors. So red, green, and the blue. And you'll also need some solder, a soldering iron, and uh, some strippers and uh, flush uh, diagonal cutters will uh, come in handy as well. Uh, along with some wire to, uh, to wire everything up. So uh, here's some details on the PCB. So uh, this is the front of the PCB that you'll be mounting the uh, LEDs, resistors, and wires to. And uh, on the front, that's where you'll mount the LEDs. So you see there's a spot for a red, green, and blue LED and that's all for the front and then on the back side that's where the resistors and the wires will mount so uh, you see right here you'll have the red green and blue resistor and also the plus wire the positive of your supply as well as the control wires for the red green and blue LEDs as well so let's get started with uh, soldering it up. So uh, first we'll put in all the resistors. And uh, so we'll put these in to their uh, respective slots. So here's the red resistor. Put that right here. And uh, you want to bend the lead so he'll, uh, he'll go in there properly. And then the green. And it's usually a good idea to bend them a little bit on the, uh, on the far side too so that the resistor doesn't uh, pull back out while you're trying to solder it. So there's two of the resistors and finally the blue resistor. And now finally the, uh, the fun part. So we'll solder all the uh, resistors on, and doesn't matter any order, just, uh, just go for it and just make sure they're all soldered in. So there we are. Uh, we've got everything soldered on and uh, now we, all we need to do is uh, just trim the leads off to uh, get ready for the next step. So now we're ready to uh, start soldering in the center wire 
And uh, for that I chose a white wire since we got uh, red, green, and blue and black wouldn't make sense since, uh, since it's going to be the positive lead. So, uh, so here's my white wire and trim a little bit off of here. And uh, this guy you're going to want to stick in through the resistor side since the LEDs are going to go on the other side and we're going to want to uh, project away from our wires. So in goes the wire on the resistor side and uh, we'll go right ahead and uh, solder that guy in. And uh, actually here's where a pair of helping hands uh, might come in handy. And so we'll uh, tie that guy into uh, into these alligator clips and uh, that'll work nicely. And we're ready for the LEDs. Oh, don't go away LEDs, stay here. Unlike the resistors, the LEDs do have polarity to be concerned with uh, and that we need to get right, otherwise they won't work. So on each LED mount, where it mounts, uh, you'll see two lines one is shorter than the other. Here's the short one, here's the long one for blue. And those correspond to the width of the lead on the LED. So this is the right orientation. This is the wrong orientation. You see the uh, wider lead on the LED is next to the, the, uh, the short line. That's not the way we need it. We need the wider lead of the LED next to the longer line that's that line right there. So put in the uh, blue LED. Get both hands in here. Red. And finally green. And so we can uh, just go ahead and start soldering the LEDs. Now uh, this is one place where you want to try to get in there and get out of there because uh, if you overheat the LEDs too much um, then it'll shorten their life and or just kill them entirely. So do be careful with that. Uh, just don't be sitting there with the iron too long. So here we go. And so uh, here we are at this point. So we've got all the LEDs mounted and all the resistors mounted and also our positive wire. Uh, the only thing we've got left now is uh, the three control wires, the uh, red, green, and blue control wires. Okay, and uh, for the final step here, we're just going to connect up the uh, three wires. Um, so I got red, green, and I didn't have blue wires. So, uh, so I got yellow. <laughs> and just uh, solder away. And that's it. There she is. There's your uh, RGB LED.